What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're going to be talking about a hero that everybody should be getting a guaranteed legend copy of, and that is Margaret. Whether you started the day of launch, you probably already have the copy. If you started a day or so after, you should be getting her very soon, so we're going to be going over this hero, talking about whether you should be using her in your lineups, building her how you should build her and then on top of that you guys should take one second hit that subscribe button we're growing so fast we're like 200 subs away from 15,000 uh, and then we'll be doing that $100 gift card giveaway and then we'll be starting another great giveaway so hopefully you guys enjoy this one well, let's jump right into it <laughs> So as you guys know, every single day when you log in, you get some bonus resources, some bonus stamina, XP potions, summons, whatever. But you do notice on the last day, day 14, you are guaranteed to get this five-star legend hero. Her name is Margaret, and is she worth actually building? Most people should be getting there right now. Let's talk about the hero. So Margaret is part of the Doom Legion and she is an attacker. Now, Blue Mark is one that I feel like there I mean there's a lot of Blue Mark heroes, but I feel like there's kind of a a lack of the big prominent ones that we normally talk about. But Margaret is a very solid hero. AoE damage, that's something a lot of people want. If you get lucky and you, you get that focus copy too, you know the one we talked about yesterday in the PvP cheese team, and you're guaranteed the space, you can do some pretty sick combos with this hero right here. Let's break down her skills. Her sword assault ability deals 100% attack damage to a single enemy twice and gains one layer of blade so blade is one of those unique skills that can't be stolen they can't be removed they're just always there buffing your hero margaret cast blade dance when it reaches specified number of layers and of course you can increase the attack as you go up higher now uh this one remember this is for blade dance so that's gonna be the main active skill here that we'll talk about in a minute her first active skill though is blade striker it deals 420 percent attack damage to a single enemy and gains two layer of blade again the whole point of her is to stack up those blade stacks so she can do additional damage this one is a pr pretty strong single target damage ability which is not bad her first or rather her passive skill is counter attack command when margaret uh, Oh, I, I never I just realized that her name is Margarita. I thought it was Margaret. I think it used to be Margaret on the beta. Uh, Margarita has six layers of blade. She consumes all layers and deals 200% attack damage to all enemies. Uh, now, as you level this skill up, it does require two less, so you only need four layers. Which, I mean, uh, between these two skills can get there pretty quickly. Now, we'll talk about the exclusives in a second. Uh, let's get to the Blade Dance, the big one here. So this deals three stages of 100% attack damage to all enemies and gains an additional three layers of blade. So you can kind of see how this goes, right? Like, you can get to this very, very quickly. Like, very quickly. And here's the thing. When we are talking about that focus combo where she gets to use two actives in a row, she gets to do this, gaining three layers of blades. And remember, it only requires four when, or yeah, four when you level it up. So she does this attack, then focus gives her another active doing a second blade dance, which then procs another AoE. So she's literally hitting three stages of 100, three stages of 100, followed by one layer of 200, and it can get pretty crazy, especially with exclusive level one, it has four attack stages now, and grants one additional layer of blade. Meaning, if you get her up to exclusive one, if you somehow already got a copy and you're getting the guaranteed copy, this gets pretty disgusting, because what happens is she uses her active on round one, thanks to space speeding her timer up, uh, she gets to go before the whole enemy team. Now she deals four stages of 100% attack and gains four layers of blade, which again, if this is at level three, means she instantly uses her counterattack command, consuming all the layers of blade and dealing 200% attack damage. So essentially you're doing what? 400, 600% attack damage against everything. Oh yeah, guess what? If you also have focus, um, you get to do this again and again. It gives you four, sta four stages of attacks with another layer. 
you see how it can get a little disgusting now the exclusives for counterattack command are interesting because when counteract command is released increases all allies crit damage by 30 percent for one turn so that does mean the second time you use it if you have a focus is pretty nasty and then exclusive three increases the damage by 30 percent that one's not really that important honestly getting her to exclusive one is going to be an amazing amazing strategy uh if i were to build her i would probably be going straight up crit rate i would focus on crit rate over crit damage because she's already got like a solid amount of crit damage on this character and you can even see if we jump into our version which i think we only have at like level one or something like that uh, you can see the stats that are just inherent that she gets. You want to go for crit rate because critting is probably going to be the one most important part about her. She's an amazing AoE damage dealer. And let's not forget, Blade Striker is actually a very solid skill for her as well. Now, as far as equipment goes, um, if I had to pick something and I'm completely free to play, going with some nice crit rate gear, I think would be a very optimal plan. If you do have the chance to get it, I would probably consider going with a wild set to get both the crit rate and the attack because I mean, look, I mean, it's literally the same crit rate. It's pretty good. Uh, you could also go for a slay set as well, uh, but I do think this will be good. Now, if you're worrying about solo content, I would try to build like bloodthirsty sets. I do uh, vampiric sets, although technically with, or sorry, the fearless sets, I, I don't know why I said vampiric, uh, granted the mastery is a little wasted or, you know, just budget. I would go with a leech set because that's going to be very important for her to keep her alive, especially if she's like your main carry hero and you don't have much support built around her. And then lastly, emblems. So emblems, you're going to want to go for probably crit rate over here, uh, potentially crit damage as well. It depends on which secondary tree you go for. Speed might be good. Uh, honestly, though, crit damage is probably going to be the best bang for your buck. And you're going to want to go for anything where... You're getting like self HP is full equals more damage dealt. Uh, things like that are going to be very, very strong in her to ramp up all of her damaging capabilities. So let me know what you guys think about Margarita, not Margaret, because of course the name seems to have changed and I apologize for that. So let me know what you guys think. Have you been using her? Have you had any good experiences? Also, what type of gear setups have you found to be the best? Is it the same as what we talked about? Is it different? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And uh, I know sometimes I focus a little bit mo too much on Focus, the hero, because it is actually an insane PvP style team with Margarita, Focus, and Space as well. Uh, we had a whole video about it. If you didn't check it out, I'll try to put a link up in the top corner and remember to do it so you guys can go check out the Cheese team as well because it is really, really awesome having a guaranteed space on your account, guaranteed Margarita, and then getting lucky with a focus. You can do some pretty crazy things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.